Hey, good morning, everyone. This is Cliff. Uh, starting out this morning up at the Upcountry Farmer's Market. Thought I'd give you guys a little bit of action here. There's our new display board. A little messy still. And I'll flip you around. Customers usually bring their items in towels. I don't take their name. I don't take their number. Uh, if they come back, I just wrap them up and wait for them to return. I've got three different orders there. I've got a little order right here. And I thought I'd just take you guys along for the ride while I do them. Let me set you up here for a second. All right. And hopefully you can see that. Hey, good morning. How's it going? There we go. That'll get the work done. Probably won't show up. Sometimes if it's got a little too much belly in it, like it's been all shoot over, I'll take a little bit out of that part of the belly right there. I was just trying to keep a nice, nice clean sweeping curve coming up to a nice pointy tip. All right, let's go step two. Here's, a, here's one that's been put in the dishwasher a few thousand times. Give him a squirt, give him a wipe. Yeah, that was five. Three more. This one's big. This one's big but thin. 
If it needed any sort of thinning or anything like that, I would put it over on the, the two inch. Tip, bevels, done. This one doesn't have a tip. I'll do that little bit of work right there. Bring it over, do a little bit of work right there. Now we got a tip. This one's bent a little bit. Good morning. Or not.300 I think okay. that's a full okay. yeah it's the full set and that's what that's the Amazon price that, that is the, uh, the Maui markup price yeah scimitar here's, here's one right here actually they use them for big like big fish or big brisket big cut big, big meat cuts some guys use them for deer even Around here for sure. Yeah, or if they're hunting or something. Exactly. Nice. Hey, dude, we got, we're a little thin on some of the, the main kitchen knives because we got cleaned out pretty good over Christmas. Oh, I would think, yeah. But, well, this looks pretty good. Yeah, I'll have some more back in stock in the next couple of weeks. Okay. Four right. more. Okay, you bet. Are they per knife at twenty dollars? No, God no. Okay, because I'm like my knives aren't even worth that. Much. No, normally I mean like a big knife like this would be eight dollars. Oh, okay. Smaller knives you're usually in the seven dollar range. Okay. The more you bring, then that price can go down a little oh, bit too. Okay. Oh, that's good to know. Yeah, yeah. Like no, no, we try and make it a little bit affordable. Yeah, yeah. So we, we do like bundle pricing too, so. I don't like I don't like complicated math. No. <laughs> It'll be like 27 somewhere in there, depending on their size. Is that small? Yeah. Yeah, we'll have to look at. Them. Yeah, bring them in, and we'll give you a good deal. You're all set. We got these guys here. Everybody got look, look at that. Oh yeah. Look at the look at the swoop. You know. So we got the points and the tips and everything are all pokey and sh and slicey. Be ready to go. So two two pockets will be ten. Five and five is ten, and those three of twenty. So it'll be thirty dollars all together. Excellent. Thank Excellent. you. Thank you, sir. Will be well appreciated. Absolutely. Especially when I fillet fish. Yeah. And we got some really good fillet uh, fish fillet knives over on the wall too. Uh, if you I, need something, if you need something a little bit, you, those are thin. Those will work good though. What you got? But if you if you need any of the others, I got them on the wall there too. Okay. Right on. Thank you. Thank you. Have a great day. You got it. It's not too bad. No, it looks like we're off to a rock and start here, so Not, no complaints. Quasin art. You just tap it and you can feel the thinness. Ting ting ting. Thank you, Morty. Dropping off? Please do so. Set them right right where you're at.
You want me to keep them separate? Keep the, keep the two um, towels separate? Is it one big order? Is it two different households? Or? Just one household, but a lot of knives. Okay. I'll give you guys the lot of knives discount deal. Okay. In about 15 minutes, I'll be ready for you. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Three more. Oop, this thing is working. This one's getting thick. They could use a thinning. Um, I'll suggest it to them. I recognize my bolster works, so They've been here before, but a lot of guys just don't want to spend thirty, forty, fifty dollars to have their uh, you know their knife turned into a race car. Although the performance in a boost would be incredible. People just want their knife to cut. Hey, good morning. There we go. Coming right up the track. You trying to sneak up on me? <laughs> it's never happened before. No. We've seen these more than a few times, haven't we? Yeah. So I was just uh, talking to myself here. I was saying these are getting a little on the thick side. No, you mentioned that last time. I did mention yes. it last time. But then I forgot. That's okay. About it it's, you know. Right now. So, I mean, they're absolutely crazy sharp. So, do you need it to be a race car? You know, if, if it drives down the road and does what you need it to do, do you need to spend 40 or $50 right. to have a uh, finely tuned Porsche Ferrari motor in it? Probably not. That's good to know it's an option. It is, and the, where you'll really notice it is if you're doing fine slicing and chopping, you'll go, oh, you know, it's starting to feel a little thick. Uh huh. Right. Right. And uh, but if it's yeah, sharp. Yeah. No, I did totally forget. So thank you. Of amazing. course. But so far they're working. So. You know, I can respect that. <laughs> That's what we're here for, right? Right. <laughs> There's different schools of thought that you should always, you know, keep your knives in optimal condition and this and that. And I'm actually doing a. Uh, a little bit of a tutorial video and, oh, okay. and I was just discussing how they were thick and so the fact that I've mentioned to you previously. <laughs> yeah, it was last time I was here you mentioned that and um, I think I just forgot because it was that busy you know, season. You know, it's an option. What do I owe you? Sir, uh, 20, three knives, $20. Oh, perfect. I have it for you. Excellent. Yeah, thank you. You're welcome. How often are we seeing you? About once every six months? No, what? Well, you're using the heck out of them, then. Yeah. Okay. Then that's 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 perfectly acceptable. One, two, three, four, five. Wustoff, love the Wustoffs. Farberware, whatever. At least they're not hollow. Good morning. 
So yeah, you kind of caught the conversation about the the thinning of the knives, and that's where larger equipment comes in handy. Good morning. That side, please. Hey, dude. Good, man. Thank you again. Get him. No, no. I'm so tired. Stop it, man. You're the guy that. Life is about these symbiotic relationships. Win win. It's so cool when it happens. Win win, brother. <laughs> How are they cutting for you, the knives? Oh, I took, so I had four knives and the one, they're all, I think they're all mine, but I have a roommate and I brought them home and I said, look, and he goes, careful, dude, I don't oh, know, I told yeah. him, I said, yeah. I'm cutting a potato, I go, this knife is cutting the potato like it's fucking butter, like it's, like, like it's butter. Well, I mean, there's no other way to describe it. You know it won't stay like that forever now. Oh, no, I know that. But they were sharp from the last time you sharpened Yeah, that's right. Well, once we see them, then they can kind of keep them maintained. Very cool. So, uh, my friend Lily just gave you some knives. Okay. Oh, the blonde girl? No, the dark hair woman. Oh, okay. So, okay. would you take care of her? She gave you some knives. She's coming right now. Short, little, cute, probably dark haired woman. Well, got it. Give her, give her whatever. A deal. I'll make it up to you. Okay, don't worry. Whatever. Friend of a friend is friend indeed. I needed, uh, I needed a dump run, and the guy came and helped me out. And I said, "Bring your knives. I'll take care of them for you." Sometimes it's not about that money. Sometimes it's about the word of mouth and uh, the sense of helping your somebody else in your community too, which is word of mouth. Hello. Hello. Which one's you? You're over this that way. Oh yeah. No. Oh yeah. Cool. Find, find your find your correct towel. Yeah, I know. But they're kind of the same. No, they're not. No, no, no. It's the, so I put a uh, tip back on that one. You can see the tip is back. Aha, uh -huh, nice. And so the shaping and everything is all smooth. He's so nice. And then the big one, also same thing, perfect bevels, needle point tip. When do you think the big one was from? I don't know. It actually was in great shape. It was not in bad shape. 20, 25 altogether. Uh, yeah, 2010 and uh, 23. Eight dumb Franco. Mm -hmm. Do 20 dollars. Yeah. Small, smaller bills if you guys have them. We have, I have three, I got six, I got seven, one dollar bills. Why don't you do and, 20? And, and 50, I, if you give me 20 and seven, I'll give you five back. Okay. And then I get a bunch of small bills because I don't have my cash box to do. <laughs> Just five back for you okay, guys. All right. Thank you. See you next week. Always. The best. Have a great day, you guys. Hello, ma'am. How's it going? You are back quick. Oh, am I too quick? No, you're not. I'm not shopping no, today. I'm That's why I just came to do knives. Yeah. Yeah. And I have a lot. Of, I have a lot of small bills. Oh, I can even probably swap if yeah. you have like a ton of fives if you want to swap. I do. Well, how many did you have? These four. Four is twenty-five bucks. Okay, well, I'll give you that all in five. That's perfect. Do you want to no, no, that's anything? perfect. That's no? that's a score. Okay. I usually go by fives anyway, so. Perfect. And that's a good deal for you. That's like just over six bucks a knife. Thanks. Okay. Love it. Thanks so Love much. Love it. I have all my small bills from the market on Wednesday. And here comes the sunshine. Yeah. Love it. Awesome. Thank you. Have a great day. This is like the magic moment of the morning right here. When the sun shines right just, up. Just when it, it just, just comes. Yeah? Well, it? And it's such a trip. It's like they get the misty 
Oh. And then the flat, the trees have got the pink flowers going. I know. No, it's, it's beautiful. Beautiful time up here. I think it's hot. Yeah, switch. Right? The switch. I know I'm way in upper cooling. It's like 40 degrees overnight and 75 in the middle of the day. It's like such this extreme. I just, I just bought an electric blanket. I have um, or a five wood. blankets and comforters on but, it. Yeah, it's like thick, thick, yeah. super thick. But I like it. Like, I like that. I like it Me kind too. of cold and, like, cozy. And then it still warms up during the day. Yeah. You know? Yeah. yeah, so yeah, yeah. I, I'm hoping we can move up to Kula at some point. It's such a beautiful, you know, that's the spot. It's the last spot on Maui that isn't. I know. I had a friend visiting recently. He was like, is there anywhere else you want to live if you've moved? And I was like, not really. Because nowhere else has got the view looking out, the rolling hills. Yeah. It's up country, baby. It's nice. All right, thank you. Okay. He's pointing at you. Yeah. Got him. Got, got him. Knife. She helped me out, too. Yeah, I'm going to say. Said that whole symbiosis thing is just. Totally. I told you. That small bills, every, it's all good. <laughs> awesome. See you next time. Thank you. All right, big load. them down. Scissors like this are usually about 15 degrees, maybe less. You don't need to clamp them and do all that. Sure you pull up a clean burn. There's no uh, little dings or nicks. Oh wow, there we go. And you can gently cut it off, massage it off. All right, let's get some sharpening done. This market, I wouldn't say is the busiest market, but it's busy enough that. You gotta keep moving. Or else you're gonna get in the weeds. This market is a big market, so people take up to 15 to 20 minutes of shopping time. Smaller markets, they're back in about five minutes. Or you gotta have them lined up, and if that's the case, then you got then you do have to write down their name and number and I don't know how you do it. Take them home, call them later. I try to have everything done by the time they get back with their sharpening. Hey, good morning. I'm here almost every Saturday. If I'm not going to be here, I'll post signs out front two weeks in advance to let people know. Yep, you got it. Part of the trick, too, is it's not just sharpening. Is A lot of people have an uh, a partner they're working with and we are not so I'm answering questions taking the money for every order that we do and then going right back to sharpening one of the reasons why I have such a uh, simplified system, somebody has just grown the absolute heavy handed. Hey, good morning. Good morning. I never remember. I know, I know. Every week we forget. Except for today. Except for today. Love it. We got it. Love it. Good, man. Chewing bubble gum and kicking butt. <laughs> We're taking care of business this morning. Okay. And if you can set them out right there. Yeah.
Gotcha. So I keep I keep the ones in the bag in the bag. Yeah, I keep them and, the, and those two. I will do. No, and that way you won't be confused later on. I understand. Oh, well, usually I just kind of do a bundle thing. How many all together? One, two. I can't count through the bag there. You can write about 40 bucks. And they're smaller, so we'll just all 35. Yeah. Did yeah. you do serrated at all? Yeah, I do serrated. Oh, you do. Okay. Yep. As long as the product is hold on the bag, we have it to come back. Uh, before you can go down and come back. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. All right, so, oh, it, it's uh, Larry and Miri, M-I-R-I. I don't keep your, I don't, I don't. You remember this crazy lady with the mask. I just, I just remember the people that come back. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. It doesn't matter, you can gain your that's, that's right. Oh, boy. But it's nice to meet you guys, Larry. Nice you. I'm Cliff. Yeah, Mary and Mary. Like All right, Larry and Mary. Mary yeah. We will see you guys in about 15 minutes. Okay. Okay. Some people, yeah, absolutely, they gotta talk to you. They, they gotta. A guy brought me three knives this morning. Could have been just a drop off, and I tell him it'll be 15 minutes. I'll see you then. But he said, Well, I just want you to tell me what you can tell me. He wanted me to tell him a story about the steel in these Spanish knives. Well, I said, it, You know, felt pretty decent, and so forth and so on. And basically, I gave him the answer he wanted to hear. They weren't the highest quality, so I said, you've got a good value piece here. It's, I bet you, uh, you know, you didn't you didn't spend an arm and a leg on them. You've got some unique pieces from another country, and uh, they were at a decent price, and the steel is a decent steel, and they're kind of rare, one of a kind. You won't be seeing anything like this again. That made him happy. I didn't need to tell them they were poorly made, low quality. He didn't need to hear that. This belt, leather belt is going up and away. And so I can keep the same direction Giggles, I set set these off this side, so just so everyone can see that these knives are actually quite sharp. I don't normally test because I feel it, but I think sometimes for YouTube, you guys want to see that I'm actually sharpening these things. Hey, good morning. I like your little workshop. Thank you. A little workshop for a big guy. <laughs> I was little when I started. <laughs> Everything's under 10. Pocket knives are five. Spydercos are, I'll give you a special wink and a smile because I like Spydercos. I got a, actually have a pair of two in my thing here. Oh, what's going on with your clip? Yeah, I kind of loose. I got that. I got, I got you. Thanks. I think I got you. Yes, you built it yourself. I did. Uh, my background's in electronic repair and robotics, so everything's kind of designed and custom fit. And, and I grew up in small places. Not, not done yet. I'll take it off, maybe next week. Okay. Usually it takes me about 15 minutes, but you didn't give me 15 minutes, so. <sighs> Too bad, I was just going to do his, his. Okay. 
One of my very first knives was the Spyderco Paramilitary 2. Yeah, that's a good one. I've had, I've had that one for a while. Got me hooked on them, actually. I didn't know what the big deal was. I was like, yeah, they're kind of gross looking. They're whatever, you yeah, know. Yeah, that big uh, ring Weird, Weirdo thing. And then a buddy gave me one for a Christmas present. And uh, I, oh wait, got it off, sorry. I leave them with a nice slicey bitey edge. Should should pop the hair, but it's got it's got some nice bite to it. So what is that circle? It's just to help get open it easier. Yeah, it's like a finger finger flicker. It's the opening opening mechanism. Out of ten and five is your change. There you go. Just that quick and easy. Have a great day, you guys. And it. So those are perfect 15 degree bevels and a needle point tip. Awesome. Yeah, no, it looks way better. There you go. Enjoy. It was ready. <laughs> Have a good day, guys. So this big batch was a pair of scissors, two big knives. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. It's fourteen knives altogether, and I could add them up small and big and different pricing and everything else. Uh, fourteen times six is seventy-four. I would call it eighty. There we go. These ones right here, eighty dollars all together. Beautiful set. Thank you. Yeah, they work. Then they're higher quality. And these these little stops came out razor sharp. Yeah. My wife told me where to where to go. She always tells me where to go. <laughs> That's right. They they know when they know. Out of ninety. And ten is your change. Thank you. You're the reason I came up here from Keegan, it sounds. Amazing. I appreciate you coming all the way up here. Yeah, she told me, go get the knife sharpened. We are working, I think within the next two years, um, I'll have essential brick and mortar. I'm tired of running around. I, I, I had a, it came to me in a dream. Why am I running all around the, the fishbowl when I could sit in the middle of the fishbowl and all the fish could come to me? I'm using the Maui as a fishbowl analogy, which, you know. Yeah, that's both good and bad about having brick and mortar, huh? Well, yeah. I mean, I'm running my tail off as it is, going around to all these different locations. Oh, shoot. They told me to keep those separate, but I didn't do that. <laughs> ah. oh, we'll figure it out. <laughs> Have a great day. Good morning. Right on. How many were there all together there? Oh, that's right. There's really nice big ones, too. Uh, 30, 35 altogether. That's just five and five on the little guys. There you go. Out of 40. And five is okay. Here's that. Ever sharp serrations. Nice little plant there. What kind of it? What'd you get? Rosemary. Yeah. That's what I thought. Okay, there, you go, man.
thing I found is when you're friendly with your customers, they're friendly back. Of course, that goes without saying. But another way to think of it too is when I'm in a bad mood, I get bad customers. So if I put out a good mood, and then when I don't get that back, it doesn't hurt me as much because I'm in a good mood and I won't let that bring me down. Like that one guy just grabbed his stuff and walked off because he didn't have enough time. Well, he didn't give me enough time. I mean, that's rarely happened, and I'm kind of surprised, but the guy wouldn't even look at me or talk to me, so he's got his own thing going on. You see how fast we're moving here. I mean, realistically, if you see a guy sharpening this fast, Hey guys, hey, I'll get to make you going to get mid. You got a fiver in your pocket? I got a fiver in the bag. I don't know about the pocket. I got a bag. Is, high is that your security bag? Sure. When I used to do the AT, the bank machines, not bank machines, the arcade video games, I used a backpack, and that backpack would be heavy by the end of the day. Like you go backpack hiking? No, like backpack. I'd go collect all the cash and put it in this backpack. Then I'm just walking around like nothing's happening. That backpack's got like 10,000. Yeah, I'm like, you know, good luck. <laughs> All right, so the only thing I goofed up is I put two that didn't go together. Hey, good morning. Do you do serrated knives? I do serrated knives. Oh my gosh, are you here every Saturday? I am here oh, every Saturday. Saturday. I'm Saturday. answering all the, I'm clicking all the boxes. Yes. I'm here every Saturday. I do serrated knives. This machine right here is one that I built to do serrations. Oh my gosh. So it's got a diamond wheel. It can contour to the scallops and put them back in place. Oh my gosh. And then they're, they're push cut paper sharp when they get done. So razor Amazing. sharp. Yep. Would you rather we come here on Saturday or do you come to houses? I'm about I'm about tapped out on being able to come to, okay, to we'll come places Saturday, to right? places. If you guys are coming up next Saturday, yeah. wrap them in a towel and bring them up. Perfect. And it's that easy. Awesome. Thank you. You got it, guys. Hey, good morning. Good morning. All wheels and and uh, grinders. Wheels and belts. Evil grinders. Hey, just a heck of a lot faster than a stone, I guess. Well, uh, faster, more efficient and arguably removes less material. Okay. So here's an example of the work that we can do. I can put a perfectly flat 15 degree bevel all the way up to a needle point tip. And uh, if you try to do that with stones, I mean, some of the stone guys can put a nice bevel on, but to get it uniform in, yes. in appearance and quality, and get the shaping and get the perfect tip and everything else. That's where you're actually, sculpt I'm doing small metal sculpturing is what it is. Okay, and how do you get it? Angle guides. Okay, but uh, like like this instead of like that, is just feel and... Well, you can see that when the angles are equal on both sides. Okay. So if you're grinding all on one side, the bevel will get small on the other. So you keep it in the center. Yeah. And the angle guide actually allows it to be See, I can see because of the lighting when the two surfaces come together, okay. then you stop before you remove any extra material. And then the second step has the same angle, only it's a tenth of a degree different. And then you can take that but you're still running just like like the roof of your house it's flat okay. it doesn't curl over it doesn't if you go too much on one side you get that yeah but we curl. don't we, no we don't do that so okay. and because i'm going edge leading you minimize the burr is what you're talking about all right and it's always edge leading yeah not usually oh golly okay <laughs> I thought I knew what I was doing. Well, you're using stones. Yeah. Yeah. So if you, you're going edge, 
that's bleeding and that's trailing, then at a certain point you want to, I always recommend you finish with a, with a couple light edge leading swipes. And there's different theories, there's different ways people do it. <laughs> you know, I don't, I'm, I'm actually doing this, you know, to show, I'm um, using it for examples and stuff, but I don't even test. I just go one, two, three, You know. and I feel it, I can check it. I don't even have to shave my arm anymore. I can just, I can see it stick into the hair or, or bite, you know, I can feel the bite. You can feel it on your thumbnail. You can feel the drag, the slice by going like that. Yeah. I get it's still fun to slice the phone. Oh my, one of my favorite ones is you take the you take the machete when you got the big machete and I grind it over here on the big machine and you take the piece of phone book paper. They know something's gonna happen when you go like that. Like that. You take the phone book paper, go like that, then you stand it up right here in front of them. And then you take that machete and you slice it down and it goes and the paper falls into two pieces. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I get sent downstairs <laughs> serving them up for cutting tomatoes. Yeah. Get, I mean, get an edge out there. No, okay, and I go for a while. If you're going to go, so here's what I suggest. If you're going to, I I put these, I bring things back together just like the roof of your house. It's perfectly like this and perfectly sharp. And if you get a ceramic honing rod for about 30 bucks, which is one of those right there, the white ones, and then you, all you need to do with your ceramic honing rod, where, where's mine? I got my little demo. Where's my demo? There it is, little baby demo rod. So, so this will get dull. Then all you need to do is go swipe, 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 swipe. Go cut that tomato, and you're back in business. And that's just different that than likely. Other. Yeah, just not, just all you have to not, do. Not hard. None, none of this, none of this swingy, swingy stuff. None of that. All you need to do is just feel it drag in once, twice, once, twice, okay. and then go cut the tomato. And that's different than a, than a, that the steel. It is. The steels aren't my favorite. Okay. Yeah, the ceramic. Think of it like a very fine grit uh, whetstone. It's about fifteen hundred to two thousand grit. So as that edge gets dull then this will just take that very tip of the tip of the house, yeah, of the roof, yeah, yeah. and then it, and it brings it back together again without removing hardly any material. So you can do that one time. And this started by people suggesting, asking, what do I suggest you get? And I said, well, get a ceramic coating on They said, why don't you carry them? I said, okay, so now I have them. And then the feedback has been, people come by that I haven't seen for six months and they still give me the thumbs up and they say, we're still doing good. Thanks thanks for suggesting the ceramic. So. How much are those? They're 30, 30 bucks. And, and if you get them, you know, like if you start with a fresh sharpening and then you go to that, then you're ready to go for a long time. Yeah, it's just a light maintenance after that. Well, so. thanks very much. You bet, there's, some, there's, your, there's your info for the morning. Yeah, right Have a great day, guys. That's, uh, that was a nice run. That was a hell of a run. Uh, I kind of lost track over the time, but I can look back and count how many it was. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Let's take a peek out now that the sun's coming out. I'll give you guys a view out on the market. Yeah, this... Okay, thank you. Those ones are actually not there. Those are, um, that, those are Trinidad. Trinidad. So this is right as the sun is just coming up over the hills. All right, guys. Uh, hopefully that wasn't too redundant. Um, sometimes I feel like you've seen this before, but people told me they enjoy the farmer's market videos. So I'll just keep trying to share as I'm going with what I'm doing. 
and let you, you know, I'll just talk out loud while I'm doing it and showing you. I thought I'd try today to show that we're actually getting stuff sharp because I don't think people think you can sharpen that quick, fast, good, and, you know, at a good price. So we try to do all three things all at the same time and have fun while we're doing it. And uh, if you'd like to see more, if you're interested, we are having a Western Sharpeners Roundup. This is going to be a sharpening convention with several knife sharpeners, myself included. Um, and then uh, top sharpening educators in other fields of clipper blades and salon hair scissor sharpening. And this is going to be the Western Sharpeners Roundup. You can message me directly for information or I will post a link down below. It's going to be in April. It's a four day event, three and a half day event. It's hotel included, three days of training, probably 40 of the best sharpeners across the United States, all sharing information together. And it's $900 for the whole event. That's 450 for the hotel room, 450 covers the event. And that inc includes also breakfast and lunch. Sorry to go on. That is something I'm pretty excited that we've been able to put together. And, uh, it is going to be happening in the next three months. Look forward to seeing everybody there. Again, contact me if you want more information. Appreciate you guys hanging out with me while I did my sharpening today. And look forward to seeing you guys on the next one. All right, you guys, aloha.